It is a time before time. Once seven nations shared the Achaean continent with the kingdom of Saint Achaea at their center. Now, however, the gods of war and madness have descended upon this land and the country of Derhua, led by Medius, the Dragon of Darkness, has colluded with Garnef, ruler and supreme priest of the Kadin, to destroy the central kingdom. Their victory was swift and terrible. Having reduced the once mighty capital of Achaea to rubble and ash, the Drahuan forces swept forward like a wave of steel. Now even the kingdom of Arisha, inheritors of the strength and the will of Henri the Great, has fallen at the feet of the Army of Night. A golden age of peace has been swallowed by the demons of darkness, and now Medius, Garneth, and Death rule half the world. in flame, so God sent a hero, the demons to tame. Across a desert of death and a sea of despair, mm. he uh. gave us his courage, he taught us to dare. A giant among men, t'was he who set us free. He was the boldest of men, the mighty Henri. The mighty Henri. I adore this ballad. Don't you wish that Henri the Great was alive today? Hmm. Go on, kill it. You must finish what you've begun, my son. Mars! Mars! Pathetic weakling! 
You are a disgrace to the line of Henri the Great. Cornelius, please, he's just a boy. Stay out of this. Mars must become strong. The future of Aresia depends on it. No tears, huh? I'm proud of you, Mars. Proud of what, Ellis? I know I'll never be as ruthless as father is. Well then, I guess it's a good thing a wise ruler doesn't necessarily have to be ruthless. Huh? You don't have to do things exactly the way father does, you know? Yeah. Mars! Hey, Mars, wake up! Huh? Huh? Hey! Were you daydreaming while I talked to you? You probably didn't hear a word I said, did you? Oh, uh, sorry, but I'm listening now. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, but... <sighs> oh. I, I'm sorry, Sheeta. I, I really am. There's no need for you to apologize, Prince Mars. Everyone in Talos knows that you're always daydreaming or in a lousy mood or just being stupid. I said I was sorry. Big yeah. deal! I skipped my sword lesson just to be with you today, and you act like I'm not even here. Maybe I'll just go find some other prince to play uh, with. Sheila! Lovely, isn't it? Uh huh. Hmm. <laughs> hey, I've got a great idea. Please stay and have dinner with us. Princess Sheeta, madam, we should see you. Please stay. Uh, You're already here. Sure, if it's okay. Yay! I'll be right back. Huh? huh? Discussed this many times. Furthermore, the Aresians residing in the Eastern Fort have already dangerously compromised huh? our situation. But the fact remains that if Aresia had lived up to their responsibilities, mm. none of this would have ever happened. Where is he? Oh, there you are! The head cook says it's okay, so I'm going to make you the best dinner you ever had. I'm uh, sorry. I think I'd just better leave. Huh? Mars! Oh, rats! You have
have a report from the front? Yes, my prince. Our main contingent is currently engaged against the enemy forces at the center of the battle line. At any moment, our ally Gra will begin attacking the enemy's left flank. What do you think? Will we win? There's nothing to worry about, my prince. King Cornelius is wielding the Divine Sword Falcion, which conquered the Dragon of Darkness, and he has the Aresian Knights. We will win. Hmm. Betrayed. The forces from Gra have turned and attacked us from behind! What? Are you sure, man? Yes. It was so sudden that our forces were completely overwhelmed. I'm sorry, sire. Curse those Grand traitors! I'll make them suffer for this! Hold on, man. We have failed. We fought as the Aresian Knights should, but there was no hope. We must pull back. Retreat! Jagan, take care of Mars. But, my liege, he is my son and heir. Protect him as you have protected me these many years. But, fear not, my friend. I will win. Aresia is the shield of Akania. We must not fail. What black magic is this? Only Kadeen wields such power. Correct. I am the Supreme Priest of Kadeen, God. So you are the Dragon of Darkness's pet demon. Prepare yourself. Taste the sacred steel of Falcyon. If you surrender to the Hura now, I will guarantee the lives of your people. Of course, they'll be our slaves. <laughs> Never! Not a soul in Aresia will accept your offer. Prepare to die! Oh, brave words. It's really such a pity that I don't have the time to kill you all slowly. And now you die! like a spoiled child, Prince Mars. The King of Talis has sent Shipmaster Oguma to the port of Galda to search for any Aresian soldiers who may have survived and to gather intelligence. You must never allow your emotions to override your common sense. That was your father's mistake. I think we should send in our soldiers now. How many months have passed since Princess Nina of Orleans stood up and declared her intent to overthrow Derhua's oppression? In all that time, not one kingdom has been willing to answer her call to arms. And every day the forces of Orleans are weakened by Medius's dogs of war. We must take action before Orleans is destroyed! This may be our last chance. We cannot allow Orleans to fall! The future freedom of the entire world is at stake! Kane is right! We must join up with Princess Nina and go to war! For the liberation of Arisha and the entire Don't world! Don't be so rash, huh? boy. Even if we can join forces with Princess Nina, we will be up against the combined forces of Dura, Gra, and the Kadeen. The odds against us are overwhelming. That may be true, Master Jigen, but we can't just sit here in Talus and wait forever. I have no desire to return to Arisha, only to find that it's no longer there. Are you sure we can defeat Dahura? <laughs> If we die, then who will retake Arisha? But what about those that remain in Arisha? As slaves? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <sighs> My lords! What is it? It's Talus! The city's on fire! On fire? <laughs> It can't be! Tahura couldn't have come this far! 
Look! Together, Sheeta. Pirates. No one of those filthy ruffians have been so scarce lately. They must have been waiting for this. Mars, I beg you, save Talus, save my father. <sighs> we will. <sighs> but my prince. If we fight now, then Dahura will surely become aware of our troops hidden here in Talus. Jaken, we must repay the debt that we owe to the King of Talus. The time has come to fight for freedom! <gasps> then I suppose this old warrior must do as his prince commands. Jaken. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you standing around for? What's happened to the fervor you were just showing? Knights of Arisa to arms! It's all over now, boy. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Farewell, sweet Mars. <laughs> Don't move. Oh, Guma! I'm sorry to have returned so late, my princess. Oh, it can't be. How could your ship have gotten back from Galda so fast? <laughs> <laughs> Where do you think you're going, old man? <laughs> Come on! Prince Mars, I can't thank you enough for saving my city and my daughter. Well... <laughs> Still, word of your presence here in Talos must surely reach the ears of Medea's evil spies. Fear not. Tomorrow morning the Arishan Knights will depart for the Achaean continent. <sighs> I see that you have already made up your mind. Therefore, Talos will send as many soldiers as we can spare with you. Oguma! Sire? You will go, if those are your orders. Hear me, Mars. The result of future battles will be decided by your leadership. Find allies, colleagues who will fight beside you. Aye. Why didn't you see them off? Prince Mars and his men have already left the harbor. It's okay. If I win, I would only be a burden to him. Sheeda, you've known that this would happen ever since we took the Orisha Knights under our wing. I know you remember the day they first came here. King Cornelius was an old and dear friend, but even I was hesitant in giving his son shelter. Medius is a powerful enemy, and I was loath to endanger our small land. At least, that was how I felt until you begged me to let them stay. The people of Talos were not eager to welcome the Arishan Knights. No one wants the seeds of trouble growing in their own backyard. But you never gave up. You kept trying to persuade the people to accept these foreigners as kin. Why is that, Sheeda? Tell your old father the truth. Ahead lay a dark continent filled with a million unknown dangers. But now the wind was at their backs and filled their sails as a new hope blossomed in their hearts. There was a kingdom to be saved and a world to be set free. <laughs> 